Hey, how's it going fight fans? Welcome to Mind for Combat. If you're new to this channel, my name's Rohan and this is my platform where I do fight sports related content. If you're new here, why don't you help me grow my platform? All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, like it, and maybe hit that bell icon so I get notified every time I upload a video. I'm trying to hit 2k subscribers by the end of the year. It's seeming kind of difficult at this point with how slow my channel's growing, but I need your support. So if you guys are long-term subscribers or new to the channel, if you're, uh, you know, subscribe, share it out with your friends and family that enjoy watching fights and maybe they don't know about my small little channel, help me out and help me reach a personal goal by the end of the year. Anyways, with that said, this is a video that I'm really, really looking forward to making and so very very incredible Muay Thai upcoming fight between the return of Jonathan the General Haggerty as he takes on Taiki Naoto now I'm obviously going to slaughter um, take his name but that aside this is a very very exciting and intriguing fight these are two young men I would say in their prime yes they're in their prime but they're so young 23 24 respectively that they're so much in the beginning of the prime that the bulk of their career is so far ahead of them that you know someone like jonathan hasn't even hit his stride yet he, yes he's been a world champion yes he's beaten some of the best fighters on earth but he hasn't even hit his stride yet that's what's so exceptional about these young white high fighters it's why i enjoy this brand of combat sport so much and why i really appreciate what one championship's doing and and breaking out the talent in Muay Thai and showing the world what Muay Thai has to offer and these guys in particular in particular Jonathan obviously I'm a bit biased towards Jonathan because you know I, I somewhat know him personally his, his dad's his dad was my coach for a long time and this is a very important fight in the landscape of martial arts and combat sports in general this is very very important and I think as as the world goes on and we get more into a rhythm and you know covid is finished i think the steam that one championship was gaining in muay thai and what they were putting on in terms of muay thai with mma gloves and giving guys like rod tang like jonathan who have had hundreds and hundreds of fights a platform and an arena finally to gain some popularity and mainstream accolades that they've never had before and this should be an exceptional fight so anyways without me going on and on about how great opportunity this is for both gentlemen and us as fans to watch this let me actually break this one down and give you guys my thoughts on how i see this one going now Taiki is 24 years old that makes him one year older than a 23 year old general both very young men both have yet to hit their prime both are going to go into a stride and both are world championship caliber fighters incredible Taiki is 32 and 8, Jonathan is officially 16 and 4, but that's not his record, he's had many more fights than that, he's had many more wins, but I'm talking about his official record as is known, I've seen him professionally knock out so many guys in the UK that when I uh, go onto his record on Wikipedia, it's not even there, so that's, that's how incorrect that is, but let's just go with that for now. Taiki stands at 5 foot 8, which makes him an inch shorter than the 5 foot 9 general, and their reach is unknown, but I think if I was to base it on what I know of these both gentlemen having seen them fight, I would say that Jonathan's going to have at least a 3 or 4 inch reach advantage when it comes to his hands, and at least a 3 or 4, if not more, reach advantage when it comes to the kicks, because he's got very, very long legs for his frame, and he actually uses every inch of his body to flip those kicks over and get maximum distance, in particular with his peeps, and I think that's going to be very key coming into this fight. To describe their styles, I'll say Taiki is more of a kickboxing style fighter. Yes, he's got Muay Thai experience, he's trained Muay Thai, he's fighting Muay Thai, but I would describe him more as a kickboxer, really, to be honest with you. And Jonathan is through and through Muay Thai with his, with his nasty elbows, got some of the best elbows in the game, incredible teeth. What a great fighter he is, and I would love to see him make a transition into MMA and see what he's got going there as well. Some of their key wins. Now, both of these guys have been around in the game for a long, long time. I think when we're looking at Jonathan, the win that stands out is the Samay win. Samay is obviously a legend of the Muay Thai game. And I think it's very important to remember just how good he looked in that fight. And even the fight that he's lost to Rod Tank, how good he's looked. And then when we're talking about uh, Taiki, Nato, um, his wins against Horoguchi stand out for me. And Mukasashi. So those are two very good respected kickboxers and some of them... Uh, well, uh, Horiguchi, for example, not it's not um, Kyoji Horiguchi for MMA fans, but he's got a lot of uh, kickbox uh, MMA experience as well. So, so two two big wins. The biggest issues that I'm going to see coming into this fight for Naito is how is his chin going to hold up against the power of the general, and um, I think physically he's going to be the much weaker man of the two. And for the general, I think the biggest issue is going to be you know he's coming off a bit of a long layoff, back to back losses. Now he's a savage and he's a through and through fighter. I don't think that that's going to impact him mentally. But as a young fighter coming off losses, losing his belt, how is he mentally coming into this fight? I assume he's ready to kill. Having spoken to him, I know he's in a great mind frame to come into this fight and just be ready to win. But you've got a question that when he gets in the ring, how is he going to feel? 
the X Factor for uh, Naito is going to be his experience. He's 32 and 8, been there for a long time. He's been in there with Tenshi Nasukawa, a lot of great fighters. So this is a uh, new, this is a veteran, veteran fighter, veteran Muay Thai kickboxer. And for the uh, for the general, I think his biggest um, X Factor is going to be his strength. I think he's so much more physically imposing in this fight. And I think his elbows are going to be so dangerous that it's going to be hard to really handle for Naito. And I think... I think the general is going to be able to really put it down into this fight. And with that said, let's get into my prediction. Now, it's an interesting fight, and I think there's a couple of ways this, guy, uh, this can play out. Every one of those conceivable ways, I favour Jonathan to win this fight and take this one away, and I'll tell you why. I think Jonathan is going to be able to utilise his teeth to keep a distance, and when it gets in close, he's going to be able to use his natural raw strength to bully Naito, put a, fling him around in the clinch, and land those dirty elbows. I think. No matter where this fight goes, Jonathan is going to be able to do a lot of serious damage and he's going to be able to make an impact that lasts. As the fight wears on, Jonathan's strength is going to come more and more pronounced. I think he's a massive fighter for his weight class and I think he's going to do a lot of damage in those clinch, in those shoving matches and at distance. Also, Jonathan's boxing looks like he's improved a hell of a lot now. For everything Naito is and he isn't, one of his susceptibilities has always been his chin in his career and I think we've seen that in his fights with tension in particular and I think Jonathan hits harder than tension, I'm not saying that he would beat tension, I could do a breakdown of that fight if you guys want, but I think that he would win this fight based on his power, size and elbows alone, throwing his teeth and the advances that I've seen that he's made in this game just based on what he's been posting on social media, I'm thinking Jonathan's going to take this one. Now, it's not that clear cut. Here's where the differences lie. When Jonathan comes in there and how he approaches this, it's all about game plan. And I think one of the weaknesses that Jonathan's shown in previous fights is his poor game planning. He came in to fight Rod Tang and I think he was happy to get into a firefight. Rod Tang being the more stocky, more powerful guy, that was a bad move. He should have utilised his distance footwork and, and you know those teeth that he had a lot of success with in the first fight. This is going to be an interesting fight and his mental frame and how he approaches this fight is going to be very key in how this one plays out. Before my official prediction, I'm going to go with Jonathan Haggerty to get a dominating decision, if not a late finish in this fight. Anyways guys, that's my prediction on how I see this fight going. Why don't you guys comment below, let me know how you guys see this fight going. Let me know if you're looking forward to this fight as I am. And if you weren't going to check it out, then make sure you do. Anyways, like I said, if you're new here, like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Thank you for watching guys. I'm Rohan and this is Mindful Combat.